All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chromebook Distribution Day. Let's get started. Remember that the Chromebook doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the district, but it's your job to keep care of it while you have it. Here's a few tips for the proper use and care. Carry your Chromebook with two hands or, better yet, in its sleeve. Oh, no. Yes. Let's keep those Chromebooks away from food or drinks. Oh, gosh, no, no. This is bad, okay. No. Oh, no. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yes. You can put a sleeve or a case on your Chromebook, but not stickers. What the fuck? Yeah, I love my stickers on my Chromebook. Yeah! Whoa, what are you doing? Put a sticker on my Chromebook! No, you're supposed to get a sleeve, not put stickers on it. It's the school's property. Ew. Man, I really wish I could customize my Chromebook. Oh, that's okay, Luke. You can go on Amazon or, other, or any other site and get a sleeve for your Chromebook. Very customizable. You need to know where your Chromebook is at all times. Time to get to work. Nothing to distract me. Ooh, there's something shiny. Oh, no. Free Chromebook. <laughs> Let's use those Chromebooks for school-related activities. Stupid Minecraft who is making me die! What are you doing there, Luke? I'm gonna hold on. Thanks. Nothing's wrong. You need to charge your Chromebook every night so it's ready to use. Oh. It's dead. Get to work. Good thing my Chromebook is fully Ooh, charged. Oh, yes! The most common way to damage things is by leaving something inside, like a pen or a pencil. No, no, Paige. You're not supposed to put a pen or a pencil in there. It could break the screen and you try to close it. Remember that if you damage your Chromebook, you will have to pay for it. Awesome. Yeah, the principal. Proper use is really just common sense and respect. So what is a Chromebook? This is a laptop. This is a computer. This has the web. That's weird. Okay, so it's the web. There are no programs. So there's nothing to start up. Then how do I do stuff? There's no messy desktop. So no rolling hills of green. Can I use it anywhere? On a unicycle? My calendars, emails, documents. Everything can be saved to the web. That's crazy. So I could throw this thing into a river. And I won't lose my stuff? It doesn't need virus protection. What about annoying updates? Or patches. Or patches for the patches. So it gets better in real time. I wonder if people are ready for this. It's kind of a new thought. So now you know what a Chromebook is, and you know how to take care of it. So let's get you one. You should 
get four pieces. The case, the power cable, which comes in two parts, and the Chromebook itself. Make sure that the number that's on the Chromebook is the number that's on the power adapter, because if you ever have to turn them in, they'll have to match. Okay, let's get you logged in for the first time with your Chromebook. Go ahead and open up your Chromebook. If it doesn't automatically start, hit the power button in the upper right-hand corner. It should automatically connect to the network, but this may take a little while, so be patient. Signing in. How are you doing that? Uh, Banana Board 21 Pilots 196 Vehicle Canada at Yahoo.com. Silly, silly noodle. You know you have to sign in with your school ID, otherwise it won't work. Your login is your last name and your first and middle initial. Your password is the same eight digit number you use to log into a regular PC or a laptop. The next screen is going to prompt you to pick an icon. You can pick one of the pre-selected ones, or snap a picture of yourself, or upload a picture if you've already have one stored in your Google Drive. Take a moment, pick your icon. Okay, you're ready to go. If you had any problems, go see the tech people in the library and make good choices.